let's hear Jason's trailer. All right. I, I appreciate everyone's excitement. All right. I don't know if I'll survive it. I, I don't know. I don't think it's, uh, it's sometimes I don't really think they're my best work. Here we go. It's Dorothy Gale. Like you've never seen her before as a 34 year old elementary school teacher. Wonder <laughs> aloud if Anne M chastises her adult niece for only being an elementary school teacher, encouraging Dorothy to make the leap into the big time and teach in high school. Looking for a Thanksgiving film? The Wiz is sort of one with an opening scene set at Thanksgiving before Dorothy is transported into Oz by the weirdest snow cyclone in the history of New York City. Once in Oz, marvel at just how long The Wiz is. <laughs> Characters that talk and talk and talk and talk. And talk some more. It's as if screenwriter Joel Schumacher, who later went on to direct Batman and Robin, the movie with the bat nipples, was getting paid by the word. Seriously, The Wiz is 30 minutes longer than The Wizard of Oz from 1939. Despite my many misgivings, I find it impossible to completely badmouth a movie that has Lena Horne in it and Mabel King as the Wicked Witch of the West. She just brings it. She's terrific. There's also the great Richard Pryor in a role that he probably shouldn't have had and a scene stealing Michael Jackson. But the whiz just goes on and on and on. Maybe instead of easing on down the road, they should have eased up on the runtime. <laughs> that is beautiful. 